Hope you've been enjoying Make or Break Season 2, which features a special episode featuring this man, Kelly Slater, in motion on his opening ride. Here at the Western Australia Margaret River Pro, Kelly Slater, 51 years of age, 11 world titles, 56 championship tour wins. Right, Kelly, fantastic start. Yeah, it felt good. It felt, it felt nice. I went out for, I got here late two nights ago, so yesterday morning early, and, and uh, I surfed yesterday for a couple hours, and it's actually probably the worst thing you can do for yourself is surf when it's on shore from the north, and it's just choppy, and everyone out there was frustrated, but I, I sort of hung out there for about three hours and just tried to find a wave, and then I surfed this morning, my first wave, uh, a free surf, just a little warm-up, and I kind of did a kick away air, and I landed to cushion so I didn't hit the rocks and uh, broke my good board. Came back in, switched it out, and this one actually felt quite a bit better. Just felt really locked in under my feet, so sort of a fortunate accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah how, how do you uh, put all those uh, sort of comedy of errors together? A bit of a goat track to get here, and then breaking a board first wave this morning. Um, yeah. Not the kind of start you're looking for. No, but, you know, it just try to keep a good attitude. I, it bummed me out at first because I love that board, but then I went, you know what, maybe this other one I haven't tried Last year I rode this in a free surf and it felt really good. And so I thought, oh, maybe I'm meant to be on that board. So it felt right. I know you love the quad setup. All your boards have the five fin option. How do you make that call? Um, if it's barreling, I ride a quad. Unless it's a slab wave, which is like if we get to the box, I'll probably just ride a thruster because I find in like a slabby suck out wave, the four fins get grabbed a little too much and you get too much speed. So you almost need that third fin to kind of slow you down on a wave that's as quick as the box. But generally in a tube like pipe or something more down the line um, on a quad. Speaking of down the line, the Gold Coast has been firing. How do you toss up staying there or coming here to warm up at the box? You don't. You stay there and then you get here last minute. <laughs> <laughs> and blow up. You know what? The morning, it was really bumping there. I looked at the camera here at first light. And it was 40 people out and I didn't see many people getting good rides. I'm like, man, I'm just so fortunate right now. But... It, was, it, it took us, uh, it took Kalani and I about almost 15 hours to get here from, from the Gold Coast door to door. We got delayed and then a couple things happened. Anyways, got here at like 3 in the morning, but uh, I'm happy. It's, it's all good. The weather's great. The surf's nice. Everyone's in a good mood. So it uh, looks like a good, good day ahead of surfing. And any tea times coming up around here? Monday, it looks like for sure. Onshore wind, big. Um, you said Tom Carroll's online. Tom Carroll, miss you, buddy. Surprised you're not here in the West. Tom used to tell me stories how he would go surf over at the Balmy by himself, first light. And I don't know if people do that anymore, Tom. A couple fish around here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, Kelly. Well done. All right, guys.